So four years ago in 2019, a derecho came through our farm, otherwise known as straight line winds, otherwise known as an inland hurricane. The winds got measured at uh, like 104 miles an hour and it pretty much busted our forest. Here you got the remnants of a um, tree that went down and yeah this was a big one it was amazing <clears throat> if you look back here you can see it's pretty pretty light so yeah our canopy is gone a uh, mature forest uh, just got laid down and it's right next to our garden which is right over here <clears throat> This is a new greenhouse. We had two greenhouses here before and the storm took them down. And then some friends who ran a CSA for a number of, for a number of years, for 30 years, uh, changed their practice. Didn't need this greenhouse, so they gifted it to us. And I, when I went down uh, two years ago and picked it up, no, it wasn't two years ago, it was last year. I went down and picked it up. And that's just when my knee was going out and I ended up getting a new knee. So we brought the greenhouse up here and I just laid in a pile for the whole summer while I was awaiting surgery. So I got a hold of members of my farmers union chapter pope burnett wisconsin farmers union and said hey folks i need help how about a greenhouse raising party and uh yeah everybody came last uh october and we put it up mostly in a day this is uh our garden and this is, you can kind of see remnants of damage here and there. It was pretty disastrous. We used to do maple syrup. Uh, we don't have any, we don't have enough trees to get to now. Our equipment is all too big for uh, using the equipment that we have. Oh, there's pigs way over there. This is where they live. There's their movable pen. But I wanted to, sh I wanted to show you this greenhouse because we, uh, we, we overwinter chickens in it, and as you can see, it's pretty lush in here. The, uh, the chickens have their nest box here. This is from a mobile chicken house that also got destroyed in that storm, so we moved that in here. We put up a roost, and the, the, the chickens and some ducks just lived in here and contributed a massive amount of fertility. So much so that what we did in last spring was we raked everything up that was in here, put it in compost right outside. And what you're seeing here is the, the remnants of the fertility that those birds brought into here. So, yeah, this is pretty slick. It's the first time we've used a greenhouse in four years. So it feels good to be back. Um, the best thing about this whole circumstance here is community. People knew what happened to us when that storm came through. They knew we got hammered. And we have such a good thing going uh, here with our friends and farmers union, with other people we know from church, that uh, they rallied behind Barb and I and put us back in business with, with a greenhouse. There's some people that think it's better to go it alone. 
I am not a I am not a believer in that. I'm a I'm a believer in social capital. It's a real thing. And the more you give, the more people respond. So it's just amazing to me. Oh my gosh! Look how look how big this pepper plant is. Crying out loud. And back here, look at these. You're gonna, you're gonna love these. These are loofahs. These are the biggest loofahs we've ever had. And uh, th 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 this will be enough sponge to keep me clean probably for the rest of my life. I don't know. I don't take a lot of showers. So, community. Yeah. Uh, it's a give and take. And... I firmly believe it's better to be a part of community than, like I said, tr trying to go it alone. There's no reason to go it alone. Uh, there's too much to be done to go it alone. So if you're out there in farmland, get to know your neighbors. Join Farmers Union. Uh, yeah. It used to happen all the time. That's what people did back in back in the day, right? Everybody, well, they, they were kind of related. Everybody was related to everybody else, and so they all kind of worked together. But uh, working together is the key phrase here. So uh, I had to show you this because it's pretty, it's pretty doggone impressive, and it was gifted to us and other people put it up for us so hallelujah let's uh again give it up for community have a good day